Jesus Christ, welcome this morning's worship service. We have a few announcements that we do need to um, take care of. First, congratulations to Marianne um, Ackerson on her recital and all the young people who were involved with that. They had a huge turnout and uh, grateful for everyone in this fellowship that was able to participate in that. And thank you very much. I also want to draw to your attention something that will be a lot of fun, and I want you to be thinking about it, please. We'll go through the background on this very quickly. It used to be um, that uh, Ruth Asdell, for years, would, would uh, host a Shawnee theater out. And there would probably be 50, 60 people from the church who would sign up, and we'd go to their house, and we'd have a, a picnic, and then we'd go on to... Bloomfield to, to the theater there. And obviously after uh, Ruth passed away a few years ago, and even a few years prior to that, uh, we stopped doing that. Well, Mr. Pease and I discovered that there's going to be an absolutely spectacular and family-friendly uh, theater, uh, um, and it's uh, in, at Shawnee uh, in, in uh, July. And, and here it is in your bulletin. We really want you to begin thinking about that and putting that date aside. It's a melodrama, melodrama, and what that means, for those of you who have not seen one of these, what you do is the kids and the adults, well, anybody that's there, you can boo at the bad guys, and it's, so it's interactive, and it should be a whole lot of fun. We'll also have probably a, uh, a theme-related uh, pitch in before we go, but we'll worry about that a little later on. So I really want you to be thinking about that. Also, be thinking about remembering to wear your name tags. We've got brand new name tags for everybody, and so if you'd be so kind to make sure that you, that you wear them. Also, I have a couple other announcements. This one is really sweet. I was talking with Rick Schwartzberg, um, who's the director of Camp Wilco, and asking how he was doing fine. And he said, David, when he said, I've had one of those wonderful things happen. I said, what's that? He said, well, Aida Haddad is a counselor this year. And he said, she is just fantastic. And he said, it's really something. That she was just a little girl when she started going to Payoka, and now she's a counselor. And, and I, I was just so proud of this church and so proud of you. And where's your husband? I'm proud of you, Swale. And I really am. And, uh, and so that's what's happening. So anyway, he asked for a character reference on uh, Sammy, and, and I said, Sammy is a character. <laughs> so will you be eligible to be a counselor next year, or yet is it two years? No, I, I will be. Good. Well, I hope I get a letter to write about that. Oh, now, I've said this before. I said it years ago. I'll say it again. Uh, our work in uh, southwestern uh, Uganda has changed the lives of uh, hundreds of people. It'll end up being thousands upon thousands of people. Uh, and we, we, it started here in this church, and uh, um, what, what we're doing is astonishing. Now, we will never get credit for what we started. But I want to show you something that was given to me by Lance Light. This is the Time Magazine that has yet to be on the newsstand. And in the middle of the Time Magazine is this. It says, The Power of One. This is Time Magazine. And you open it up, and there's a picture of Tosweegee Jackson and about what he has done and what we have accomplished and what <coughs> we started. First church in the world. We started this. So when people say that you can't change the world, you tell them, come to United Presbyterian Church. Now, I'm not going to pass this around I, because I want you to hear my sermon. But <laughs> the Time Magazine will be coming out any, any, any day now, I suppose. And so uh, uh, um, I can run off some more of these uh, copies, The Power of One. And if you recall, a couple months ago, they had an article on the Power of One about a guy that Brynn and I have uh, uh, been in contact with that started the shelter boxes as well. So this is, this is a big deal. Time Magazine to Sweetie Jackson. Tell them to come here if they want to change the world. 
thank you very much. With that said, I thank Alejandra for being our liturgist today. And uh, let us begin our worship then with uh, silence. Good morning. Good morning. God is here. Let us worship him. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, even as he said to our fathers. And this is Mary's Magnificat, Mary's song, from Luke chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. And let us stand now and sing our opening hymn, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise, number 263. <coughs> Yeah. 